When it comes to practicing medicine, there's one overarching theme that I always adhere to, and that's how would I like to be treated? And I'm really not trying to anthropomorphize this. I don't think cattle are people or cattle are babies. Cows are cows. But they still need to be treated with a high level of respect when it comes to medicine and surgery. So whenever I do any sort of procedure, I think, would I want that procedure done on myself? That's it. I recognize I don't have all of the resources in the world. I don't have a large animal surgery suite. I have my truck. I have my equipment. I have my drugs. I have myself. So I don't have all the resources. I don't have a DR. I don't have a MRI. I don't have a team of board certified pathologists around with me every single day but given the limitations and the resources that I have available to me how would I like to be treated would you like to come with me today okay. <laughs> Woo hey Megan and I are heading out to a call we typically wouldn't go out and do this call together but she just got a brand new pickup truck and she's gonna go pick up her old one at the farm because they're the ones that flipped out her vet box for her. So she's gonna come with me. You might do, you might do the abscess. We have an abscess to do and I think maybe two abscesses to do and then I have some castrations. Good. That's it. Okay. <laughs> okay, stay there. Cowboy Dan. I thought you were gonna be Kyle for sure. That first one was a Seroma, a serum filled pocket. So we thought it was an abscess and that's why you should always do an aspiration before you cut into a swelling. Next up. Rosa number two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks for taking one for the vlog, Megan. <laughs> so I'm just getting supplies for Megan. She has a abscess on a cow's udder. Good job, Cody. That was a great segue. She presented for mastitis, but when we took a closer look, she'd blown out of the udder. Uh, we just flushed it and we're gonna put her on long acting antibiotics and anti-inflammatories and reassess in one week. So Megan picked up her pickup truck and she's heading back to the office and I have some castrations to do. So think to yourself, if I was getting castrated, what would I want done to me?
Day shaping up to be a crazy day. I have some postmortems to do out east, uh, and it is mid afternoon already, and I still have to drive there. Just at my last postmortem of the day. Oh, I hate it when they're the wrong side down. Left side down always. Put the animal left side down, not right side down. Yeah, because right side down, there's a room that's up, and I can't see I'm a beef cattle veterinarian in Alberta, Canada. I deal with nothing but feedlot and cow-calf and I just have to say that your cow medicine is exceptional. So I, I, I aspire to be the obstetrician that you are one day. <laughs> Thank you, we'll see you. Bye. I heard my phone vibrating. I'm like literally standing in a foot of muck with four cows behind me and I had my camera rolling so I didn't think to put it on speakerphone. I did not have that on speakerphone. Okay, Brandon, just verify for the vlog what happened. So we just had Dr. Cole on the phone. I'm at the uh, Midwestern Vet Conference and he's here. So then I said, hey, can I uh, talk to you real quick? My buddy is a big fan of yours. <laughs> so he was very nice and he started talking medicine to me. I didn't know what he was talking about. And I said, I'm not a vet. So he did very, very nice stuff. That is, that's awesome. Thanks, have buddy. Have a great rest of the day, my friend. <laughs> okay, thanks so much, Brad, and we'll see you. Bye. Bye. Well, I just got off the phone with the incredible Dr. Pole. I'm not joking. I did not make that up at all. So my buddy, Brandon Brashears, he is the host of the Veterinary Marketing Podcast. I'll link Brandon up in the description. He is down at a veterinary conference in Vegas and he saw Dr. Pohl walk by. So he ran up to Dr. Pohl and said, hey, I know a cow vet. How about you give Cody a call? Dr. Pohl got on the phone, gave me a call and I was in the midst of the postmortem pit and stupidly I did not turn on my speaker phone so you guys could hear what was going on. That was my, that was my highlight of the day. I have been home late a lot this month. So uh, I just pray that Diana is happy. Don't marry Calvin. Come on, Finn. <laughs>